The Sprint Cup Series had the Easter weekend off, but the Nationwide Series full effect at Nashville Super Speedway. Welcome to your NASCAR report with your NASCAR reporter, Pete Pistoni. What is going on, Pete? How you doing? Doing great, Lauren. Had a little uh, Easter break, but ready to go back to work. All right, let's talk about the incident between Jason Leffler and James Bush, which resulted in a three-race probation for Leffler. You got the chance to talk to him today. What did he say, Pete? Well, Jason said basically if he had to do it all over again, he probably wouldn't have done what he did. So he had basically admitted that it was a payback. You know, he and James Busher got together a couple of times there in Nashville, and the first time Jason's car was completely wrecked. He went back in the garage area. They made repairs. He came back on the racetrack. A few laps later, he found the one car of, Jace, of uh, James Busher and basically paid him back. And NASCAR obviously saw that. They're not going to stand for any retaliation, Lauren. You know, the have at it boys policy is still in play for hard racing. But when there's payback and a car is as many laps down as Jason Leffler was, NASCAR is going to respond. So he was parked. He's on probation for three weeks. And, you know, Jason Leffler understands that. And we'll move on from here and hopefully... He and James Busher have this in the rearview mirror. Okay, we are moving it on and leaving it behind us. Let's talk about Denny Hamlin. Can't leave that knee behind him. A lot of NASCAR fans want an update. What's the latest, Pete? Well, he's ready to go. The uh, surgery last week to repair the uh, ACL injury that he had in his knee that he uh, you know, injured himself in January playing basketball. The surgery went well. He's in full recovery mode. He's going to start the race Saturday night in Phoenix, and he has Casey Mears standing by as a relief driver. Now, you have to start the race, Lauren, in order to earn the points. So then he's going to at least get in the car and take the green flag. How long he's in that car, we still don't know. He's wearing a brace, and the one thing that's going to be a big difference for him is he's going to have to break with his other foot, and that's going to take some time to get used to. So he's ready to go. He says he thinks he can do it. They have Casey Mears standing by, and uh, after that big win in Martinsville a couple of weeks ago, I know Denny wants to run the whole race Saturday night out there in Phoenix. Sure, how long he's going to be able to go, you're not sure. But if he makes it the whole race, it's going to be 75 laps longer. What's the result of that? Well, this is kind of interesting. You know, the race was extended to 600 kilometers, 75 laps, as you said, because it's going to start in the daylight hours, and they wanted to finish it under the lights at night because the fans like the night racing. What that does is, one, the endurance factor, and if Denny Hamlin's going to go the whole race, he's going to have to do 75 more laps. So you've got that to contend with, with a lot of the drivers going a little bit longer than they had in the past. But secondly, the crew chiefs are going to have to figure out how to make calls in terms of fuel and tires. Now you have 75 additional laps. Traditionally, Phoenix has been more of a sprint race, but I think fuel strategy is going to come down to the wire in this race on Saturday night. So you're going to see a lot of calculators working overtime <laughs> there on pit road, I think, out in Arizona. Something tells me it won't affect Jimmy Johnson because, number one, he's at the top of the point, point standing, and number two, it's Phoenix. Four out of the last five times, the 48 car has gone to victory lane out there at Phoenix International Raceway. So you're right, Jimmy Johnson, very good at that racetrack. What racetrack isn't he good at? And he's leading the points by 14 now. First time in his career he's been on top of the point standings at this point. So I think it's, a, again, a week where we're going to be chasing the 48. A couple of guys that I think have a chance to maybe knock him off that perch, his teammates. Mark Martin at Hendrick Motorsports won this race a year ago. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., Again, still looking for his first win in nearly two years now. He's went out there a couple of times. Lauren, he, he likes that racetrack, and the 88 team seems to be making some strides. So maybe Hendrick Motorsports will have another driver outside of Jimmy Johnson going to victory lane Saturday night. We'll have to see. All right. It's good to be a Jimmy Johnson fan, that is for certain, as of now, right? It certainly is. All right. Thanks, Pete, and thank you for watching everything NASCAR. You know where to go. We'll talk to you soon.